So when you're programming artificial intelligence, or when you're working with artificial intelligence, are, are they specifically trying to mimic the developmental process of a human brain? In a lot of ways. There's some ways that are different. Um, you know, an, an analogy that's often used is like, you know, we, we don't make a submarine swim like a fish. Mm. Uh, but we take the principles of, of how what it, of hydrodynamics and apply them to a submarine. I've always wondered as a layperson, do you try to achieve the same results as a human brain but through different methods, or do you try to copy the way a human brain achieves results? I mean, the, the essential elements of an AI neural net are really very, very similar to a human brain neural net. It's having the, the multiple layers of neurons and um, you know, back propagation. These all these things are what your brain does. You know, it's sort of um, you, have, you have a layer of neurons that goes through a series of intermediate steps to ultimately cognition, and then and then it'll re reverse those steps, go back and forth, and go all over the place. Um, it's um, yeah, it's it's interesting, very interesting. Yeah, I would imagine like the thought of programming something that is eventually going to be smarter than us that one day it's going to be like, why did you do it that way? Like when, when artificial intelligence becomes sentient, they're like, oh, you tried to mimic yourself. Like this so much better process, cut out all this nonsense. Like I so said, there are elements that are the same, but just like, also like, like an aircraft does not fly like a bird. Right. Yeah, it doesn't flap its wings. Uh, but the wings, the way the wings work and generate lift is the same as bird.